Hey guys, welcome back to GTA 5. We are still banished to the desert with Trevor and Michael. So I have actually been unable to carry on with getting the cars for Epsilon because every time I go into the city, Madrazo's men come after me. So I'll have to work on that when we get unbanished and whenever that is going to be but we do still have lots of things to do up in the desert so let's get started with those just going to cross over to a mr michael it's okay michael it's just a big fucking beach <laughs> big fucking beach it's like a holiday it's a holiday michael it is a holiday so do we still have What's that Hi. noise? What's that noise? What's that noise? Oh, it's you again. Oh, oh my god. Oh, please. Come here. I want to talk to you. Oh, no. Oh. That is honestly so gross. <laughs> oh my god what what should i do should i just leave him in fucking midwife for this thing oh foul okay and mrs madrazo is just nicely cleaning the, ki the kitchen you boys are so messy i'm sorry but she has actually done a fantastic job of cleaning up she has done such a wonderful job. Um, yeah, you just keep doing whatever you're doing there, Trevor. Uh, it, it's all good. Look, as we're in the desert, I think we need to dress appropriately. I have very little things to pick from, which is actually quite appropriate, I must say, because he probably came here with not much so i'm not wearing a suit i i just wish that i had different shorts no oh no look look you I'm, I'm out i'm out trevor you can just keep doing whatever it is that you're doing there because i don't want anything to do with it okay on the map here, we have the FIB mission, which I know now to only ever start as Michael. Apologies for starting it with the wrong person, but these sort of things you don't really know unless someone tells you or you look up a guide. Sorry. So it is a beautiful day in the desert. It's very hot. But we are about to go to the FIB and see what they look like. Well, hello there, kitty cat. I love the cats that they're just so fat. <laughs> they're certainly not um, starving out here. They probably eat all those coyotes. Oh, this is at Trevor's lab. His meth lab. All right. Let's park our car nicely. There we go. And off to meet Davy Boy. Howdy. Hello. Where are we going? I'm in the B. I'm in the B. Is it upstairs? It's got to be upstairs. Just wish I had shorts on. It's too hot for pants. You better be here. Am I in the right place? Yes. Oh, gross. Oh, <laughs> nice place you got here. Oh, yeah. It's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this, this here is my place. And my work paid for my place. All right, mm -hmm. relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. 
Got yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. <laughs> no! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Whoa. Oh, ladies, <laughs> ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, <laughs> listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy helicopter, Truck, weapons. You'll have to source Jeez, all of that. That's a lot. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. Ooh. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made. Honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. <laughs> Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes! Woo! Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Ooh. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, uh. oh, Jesus. Fucking Christ. All right. I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Come on. You're driving us up to the bank. I don't want them to fight. Don't fight. Please. <laughs> Can I hit him? No. <laughs> I just want to trash his place now. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. No fighting. There will be no fighting amongst our boys. Okay. Trevor? There he is. I loved that anger that Michael showed before. It was a thing of beauty. And Trevor seemed certainly very happy that the old Michael had returned. Polito Bay, it is. Let me call Lester. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. Oh, okay. Okay, so I... I All right, Lester's meeting us it. there. Yep. Don't start. <laughs> I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local <laughs> law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? <laughs> really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you, you know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Oh my God. Uh, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then, what? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. Mm. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? 
then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, well, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. <laughs> and then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. What? I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I <laughs> abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. <laughs> what I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why well, will because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers? You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be what? somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking <laughs> bullshit. Trying to wind me up. Um, I'm very, very angry, and I want this conversation to stop right away. Hipster. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you, Michael! Say it again. I've made my point. I'm not a sadist. That was a conversation of beauty. A hipster. Trevor is the furthest thing from a hipster and I think he was, he nailed it by saying that Michael's just trying to wind him up because he certainly, definitely was just trying to wind him up there. I love that conversation. <laughs> that was epic. I absolutely love that. <laughs> they, they're really going for it today, aren't they? They are fighting non-stop ever since the beginning. This is going to be interesting, the way that this is going. So, before we get into the marker, what I believe we are doing is we have to rob a bank in order to get money, in order to get a helicopter, whatever else um, the FIB were asking for. So that is the reason why we have to rob a bank to get money to buy stuff. I don't know why it's up to us to get the money for that. Don't, we just don't ask any questions. The basically. bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? What are we doing? Oh, we're waiting for Lester. Okay, so he's arriving on the bus. We waited a whole night. <laughs> Come on, man, knock it off. What? <laughs> I'm gonna break your fucking fingers, you don't <laughs> knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. <sighs> Oh, ah, they're so funny. They are really going for it. Here's Lester. Where is he? There hey, he is. Hey. hey, welcome to paradise. My car's this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. <laughs> Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> this is awesome. Okay, let's take a look at this bank. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> yeah, right. I will believe that when I see it. Because I don't think we'll be seeing it. 
Oh, Blaine County Savings Bank. Okay. Point of interest? That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. It'll take us around back. Okay. Yes, so drive to the lot next door. Okay. Oh, convenient. There's an empty lot behind, empty lot, and no yeah. one should pay attention to us back there. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Really? We're gonna find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no, no. This is the score. Right? What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm, see what kind of response oh. they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, oh. <laughs> you heard the man, all right? Shoot the oh. sucker. Okay, all right. Um, what, what is the alarm? Is it that red? I think it's that red thing there. Okay, I brought my police scanner. Now drive over to the gas station opposite the bank and we'll monitor chatter. Oh, All right. Oh. This is cool. This is fun. I love this. Is Toledo Base Security Services Frequency. We have a code 30 Adam. Alarm going off at Blaine County Savings Bank. All cars in the area, please respond. Toledo cars 3, 6, 9, and 1 will be there in 50 seconds. 50 seconds. Roger that. Four units. Backup team at station is available. Oh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor or shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. Mm, just the alarm going got on. on the clock. 40 seconds. This is Toledo Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Oh. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank. Here they come. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars, more in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many, we can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. There's four cop cars. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12, false alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway oh. and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Oh, wow. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair what? or not, we're still faster than your ass! Well, I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, He'll be the one running from the cops. This is Trevor Phillips' country. They ain't beating me across it. <laughs> um, do I have to switch? Oh, it's a race. Ooh. I shouldn't Can have. I, um, I should have known. Change? We're fine. We're gonna get out of here. Trevor Phillips, of course this would turn into a car chase. <laughs> We're not being chased. Not yet. <laughs> Not at all. Look, take a deep breath. We're gonna be fine. Look at him. We just gotta get back to Trevor's office. When Trevor says office, he really means... A burnout gas station by the Alamo Sea? I've seen the title of ownership. Get off the road up here. This must be Trevor's route through the mountains. Uh, dirt track. Damn it. Might get bumpy. And judging by the glassware he ordered a year ago, I'm guessing it's a <laughs> meth lab. A meth lab. Just... Perfect! Laboratory don't do it justice. It's more of a shithole where meth is made. Great! Nothing like a pharmaceutical bakery to prep the perfect stick-up job. Don't worry. It's gonna be fine. Look, you had any ideas about the bank? Are you sure we can't disable the alarm? The alarm is a UXVF 111 classification, minute long relay interval, third party verification, multiple monitoring centers. Sure, I can disable it. But? But it'll cost more than the job is worth. Mm. Of course it will. So, what do we do? We walk away. It's not like we need the money. Uh, we about do. that. Yeah. You've been day trading? No, God, no. I mean, yeah, 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 I've been trading, but no, that's not why we need the money. Then why do you need the money? <laughs> All right, so, there's this research laboratory on the coast. Looks like the road takes a dip and a turn after that bridge. Slow down. The IAA 
are using it to manufacture a poison gas that they're going to release on U.S. soil in order to hope that the government increases their funding. Well, that sounds idiotically improbable enough to be possible, but what's it got to do with you and Trevor sticking up the Blaine... Blaine County Savings and Loan. Agent Steve Haynes needs two million plus to finance a raid on the land. And guess who's doing the raid? And guess who's paying for it? Yeah. Ah, I see. Yeah, well, I don't really see. But I'm doing it. And it sounds like Trevor would hit this bank for candy and a pat on the head. Mm -hmm. Now tell me, can we do it or do we move on? Now you can do it, but you can't do it clean. How messy we talk? Taking the cops head on, Messy. Well, they are dirty cops. That's what Trevor says. So do you think we can do it? Guys out here aren't trained like the LSPD. They aren't going to be prepared for a well-armed, well-drilled team coming straight for them. Yeah, well, we need an edge. Something to tip the odds in our favor. Yeah, I got a couple ideas. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's... Michael has brought up so many things that I also question, like... We are the ones that have to fund this, which I find questionable. Look, I've lost this race, but I'm happy that I stayed with Michael because that was a very interesting conversation and, and I don't know what conversation we would have had if we switched to Trevor. So I am happy with my choice of staying with Michael, even though we have lost this stupid race. Trevor beat us here. Yeah, well, at least we weren't arrested. I did that on purpose. Jesus, what took you so long? <laughs> Had to let you win. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Look at Lester. He's like, ooh. <coughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. <laughs> Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, right? Then you're going to be making the wrong decisions. I mean, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how mm. I ended up here. Yo. For like bon seconds? appetito. Come on, what is that touch? Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? <laughs> What's wrong with you? That's just a, a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. What? Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? What? Good. I'm gonna stay here a minute oh, longer than cool. I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That yes. means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Mm -hmm. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. Okay, I know yeah. none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. They'll be taking on the cops with oh. you, so my advice, choose someone good. So just a gunman. So we have Gustavo Moto, who I haven't used. We have Norm Richards, who I haven't used. Daryl Johns, haven't used. Packy, he is good. Look at that. He takes 12%, but he is, like, maxed out. Yeah. Think about my buddy Chef, okay? Consummate professional. Uh, look, guys, I think I'm going to go with Packy because we know him from GTA 4. Um, Trevor... I mean, that's Chef's... That, that's Chef. That's Trevor's friend. So... Uh, he would probably pick Chef. However... I think it's a no-brainer when you look at the differences between the skills and the cut is the same and plus also we have those ties to Packy from GTA 4 so I think I'm going to go with Packy for this one. Um, sorry if you want me to pick someone else but I'm choosing Packy. He handled himself at the jewelry store. You sure this is the guy? Yes. All right. 
I'm happy with this, but it does seem to be quite difficult and stressful, but we'll give it a go. That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. I, I'll get a motel, thanks. All right, suit yourself. Fine, I'll give you a ride. Aww. Adios, amigos. Hmm? You heated all that up, and you're just going to put it back in the fridge? Oh, <laughs> oh yuck. <laughs> So, so, so gross. Um, oh, oh, awesome. Well, look, that's what you get from eating a soup with an eyelid in it. And it looked foul, too. Franklin, buddy, what's up? <laughs> hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Oh, okay, well, it's no. got to be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> what's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey man. <laughs> Off we go. Okay, so um. Oh, that's um at his house. There, there. Okay, well that that's the O'Neill brothers. The hey, I thought that was Chuck. Oh, you little cutie, you're a big boy. That's the O'Neill brothers, or indeed what is left of them we just have a couple more to to take out oh my gosh okay well let us go oh nice i've made military convoys are traveling to the base every few hours i've made them mostly arrangements for the polito score all we need is that military hardware so move on the convoy when you can where is it Oh, it's down there. Um, what should we do? To be honest, I don't really know what to do. I think I may just carry on and go and take care of the O'Neills to begin with. And then, where's the, oh, I went to the wrong house. That's my neighbors. Now I can't get out. I'm on top of their bed. Get out of their stupid gate. <laughs> all right let's go so we got to pick up michael hang on are we allowed to go back into the city where's michael oh it's hey jimmy home. it's your dad listen if you get this can you give me a ring tell your mom too will you mm. and tracy please son your daddy's been a bad boy. Uh, please, son. <laughs> you want to sniff? The fuck is oh, wrong is with you? Gasoline? Oh my god. <gasps> what? <laughs> now, see, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, <laughs> doing this stuff. Oh, man. Oh, yuck. Please. It's cheap. But it's good. Gasolina? No. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? I love her. Oh, shit, I'm sorry I don't have any low car. Oh, fuck oh. you. Uh, where'd you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life, and you feel guilty about it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit. The picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit. That's gotten you real far. Oh, yeah. You've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> you gone. Man, ten years in the sun, your brain has melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? Did I fucking kill only on the weekends? So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? 
fuck compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. Oh, oh, yeah. Sane, 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 sane. Okay. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know, but I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty. Well, I've come to a little agreement. I uh, spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you, he hears that his homie's having trouble, <laughs> right? And he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low. Out here, <laughs> by calling LS and inviting a known accomplice of ours you know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so fucking typical of you. So typical. You don't even ask about the trouble. You instantly think about mm, yourself. He did. He did. You're right. I did do that. Apologize. Amazing. It's not good enough. What? I'm leaving, huh? I might die. Hope you're happy. Right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. If nothing else than to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boys. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't. Don't fuck stay it up. out too late. <laughs> oh my god. That's amazing. I love that. What is Franklin doing for you anyway? He's tailing some guys, Mikey. Tailing. Hang on, what? Where are we? Oh, we're going to Franklin. This is cool. How cool is if this? If he's back to Sandy Shores, why didn't I hear about him? God damn it! Here we go. Shit, they see us, man. We gotta stay on. <laughs> he's talking to Chuck. All right, let's go. I love that he talks to Chuck. That's right, Chuck. <laughs> we gonna fuck him up as soon as Trevor get here. Oh, yeah. This is so much fun. I love hey, this. Hey, man, me and Chop on these punks. We're coming up to WH, north of Two Miles. All right, all right. The O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo. Oh, when wow. one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company Whoa. chopper, yes, Michael. It's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Mm -hmm. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? Because these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. Five All right. minutes, okay. Do we, um... Elk in the road! Oh, fuck! That is a big accident. Well, they should be pretty much shaken up so we can just take care of them here, right? Surely. Get on me. <laughs> hey, let's roll on this fool, Chop. Do it. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit! <laughs> Where'd they go? Trevor, man, shit, you there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed. Dead? No, they gone. They gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support like right fucking now. Here we go. This is so much fun, this. This is an awesome mission. Don't worry. Incoming. <laughs> I love it. I love this. Out Incoming. Of the way. Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. Mm -hmm. These men don't like me, and they know we're back in the sandy shore, so... Yep. <laughs> Here she is, the Biz Hallie. Remember, she ain't <laughs> mine, she's the company's. Hang on. Oh, look at what is... TP Enterprises. <laughs> you're just gonna have to wait. I wanna look at the other side. Oh, it's the same. Oh man, what a what a thing of of beauty. <laughs> he is so funny. All right, let's go. Let's go find Look, these guys. Why do these guys, the O'Neills, want you dead anyway? There was a deal, a contract to end all contracts, serious multinational stuff. I was this close, and they stole it off me. <laughs> oh, hold up. 
If they stole your business, why do they want you dead? Wow! What's with all the questions? Can't you just take my side for once? Hey, I'm coming along for the ride, ain't I? Yeah, but I sense your heart ain't in it. Yeah, I'm lucky my heart ain't in a pie <laughs> on your kitchen table. Always oh, with the quips. You're such a depressing cynic. Oh, poor Trevor. I'm sorry I'm a human being with thoughts and feelings and emotions. Wait a second. I remember this chopper. We used this to break into the IAA building. Ooh. You stole it from the FIB? <laughs> Not so. I took it in lieu of payment. There was a rifle on board, too, so if your panties aren't all in a twist over stolen <laughs> office supplies, can you please use it to scan the forest for the O'Neill? <sighs> oh, I'm your hitman now. I'm not gonna force you, Michael. You don't wanna help? You can get <laughs> out right now. Absolutely epic. This has just been hilarious. Hey, hey. We here on the ground. Them hick dudes in the woods. Oh, nice. That model fitted with a thermal scope. Look for Whoa. their heat signatures. Um, how do I zoom? Oh, I can't zoom. How do I zoom Check in? Check the river. They might be trying to float out of here. There. I, I, it wouldn't work before for some stupid reason. Oh, oh there's one. It started walking on two legs. Okay, I got a guy in the water. Do I kill him? I guess. I got him. That guy wasn't moving fast enough. Oh. We ain't found him yet. Oh, there we go. It's moving now. I don't. It just wasn't working before. There's oh, that's, the new golden child. That's Franklin. Can I shoot next to him? Let's see. <laughs> no. Um. All right. Where? 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 We need two more. People. Oh, there's one. And what are you doing out so late? Just one poor soul remaining. All right. Higher ground, Mikey. You find them on the hill. Would you aim a little left? I think I see someone. Left. Oh, it's a deer. What's that? Oh, that's the car. Where though? Scan right, I think I see someone. Right. Hang on. No, dear. What's that? Oh no! Yeah, what is that? Oh. I don't I do that. He's behind a rock. I didn't get him in time. It's on you, homie. You know what Hicks smell like. Oh nice. Come on, Chop. You can get him, boy. This is awesome. Track him down, oh, wow. Mike. We're about to get shot out of the sky here. Yep. I can Don't worry, man. Him. We got this. Come on, Chop. If you swimming, I am too. Fuck. <laughs> this water is cold as a motherfucker. Where is that guy? Oh, I can see him. I can see him um, firing his rockets from over here. Get out the gun. What gun? This one. This will do. Where is he? That's a deer. Come on, Chob. Where is this guy? I felt that. We're close. Yes, you we going are. Down, you asshole. Eat oh, it, there he is. There Eat he is. that bitch. I'll be back to revenge myself. Got Last him. guy's done, homie. Got All him, got right. him. Stay there. We'll come down and pick you up. Cool. We have a beautiful rocket launcher now, too. Amazing. All right. That was fun. All right. This is so angry. fun. Now that hillbillies with rockets are dead, is there anyone else we should worry about trying to kill you? <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah, there's some bikers, the Chinese, Madrezo's people. Popular. Yeah, true. All the oh, no, no. <laughs> Idiot. Oh, Chop is so cute there in the back. He's so adorable. Whoops, Saws. <laughs> you know the airfield's mine, don't you? Oh yeah, you can afford a runway, but you can't afford 
afford to move out of that corrugated metal death shack. So how you guys doing? Well, we're alive. Hey, good work down there. I'm the one who says thank you. He was helping me. Thank you, Franklin. Yeah, it's cool, homie. And thank you, Chop. Hey, <laughs> are you gonna tell us exactly what we were helping with? I know you said these guys stole some business, but that doesn't really explain why they wanted you dead. Oh, didn't I say what happened after they stole the contract? Nope, you didn't. <laughs> All this tension, the fighting, it has just been so much fun, so much fun. All right, let's put her down. Here we go, taking her down. Is that good enough? Don't it feel good, huh? Helping a friend in need? Come on, chop. Come on. Oh, yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we're gonna borrow this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. Oh. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. We can actually go back? Get in. See you back in Casa Phillips, Mike. Oh. Yeah, thanks for the warning. <laughs> well, we're not going back, I guess. Predator. That was... That was okay. That one was okay. All right, um, thoughts so far there's a couple of things oh hang on wait i want to swap to these guys see if they're going to say anything about what we just did no okay that's fine um what about franklin does he have anything to say Who's a good boy? Well, that's kind of disappointing <laughs> that they, they didn't say anything. But before anything else pops up, I just have a couple of things to say. I love that Trevor and Michael have been fighting so much in this. It has been so fun, so interesting, so much tension. I love it however I want to point out that I believe that Trevor is sometimes right Michael did not ask at all what problems Trevor was having right he did not ask and that to me is rude <laughs> like exactly what um, what Trevor what Trevor said However, what I love is that Michael owned it. He said, yep, you're right, I didn't ask. So he actually, he, he, he owned his selfishness in that moment. So neither of them are perfect. Neither of them are perfect. They both have quite awful personality traits, let's be honest. But the fact that Michael owned his mistake there it speaks volumes truly all right guys just one little look at the map we have a couple of things to do there's a few things i want to do before i finish up this video the next video we're going to get the heist equipment and do the heist itself however this weed stash thing has been on the map for so long now I really would like to go and clear that off so that is what we're going to head and do now though I got an email before like what is that do you want a photo of me careful hang on what I made it supreme it's only 10 bucks 
Who's Photo that? Last forever. Just like me. Well, hello. Hey, what's up, home? Hello. Uh, you know, just uh, hunting for brains. <laughs> Any luck? No, not really. He's Spine cool. Room. The only place they made the lobotomy, man. <laughs> Well, I will say I know a lot of people that were killed for this job, but I'm gonna be straight up with you, dog. It ain't true. Good luck. Thank you. Hey, what's up? But what's that happening? guy is... He's kind of cool. Um, I'm gonna send Can't Chop... Go. I'm gonna send I him home. Because I don't want anything to... Home, I don't want anything to happen to I him. I, make no sense. I don't want anything to happen to dear old Chop. Alright, let's go and get this final weed stash and see if we can actually finish off that mission. I know that Franklin doesn't really have any sort of effect with the weed um, that Barry has given him, but maybe once we go to this smoke-in that we're planning, it, there might be more of it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm very curious if Trevor and Michael have always fought like that. They've always been very nitpicky with each other. It's almost like when you're in a relationship with someone and it's just not going well. Oh, oh it's a security van. Yeah, I don't want that. And you're just like fighting all the time and it's just on the verge of a breakup, you know? That's oh, kind of what it feels like to me with, with Trevor and Michael, they're just always fighting. It's like lovers' quarrels, you know? Alright, so where is this thing? Let's go and look. Oh, so it won't be that way. Hopefully this one is a bit better than the last one that we did. It's gotta be in here. It has to be somewhere in here, right? There it is. Oh, I'm already I'm nervous about the cops. I hated this last one. I hated it. Because the cops were on me like immediately. This one it won't even start. It doesn't even start. Come on, you what? piece of shit car. It doesn't even go. Do I need to tow Man, it? Man, that ain't going nowhere by itself. Oh, hang on, I need a tow truck. Do they have one? Wow, who changed my ringtone? <laughs> hey, look, man, that car in La Poeta is a fucking hoopty. The engine is fucking shot, man. I'm gonna grab the stash and get the fuck out of here. Oh. No, no, it could be a trap, and I need that car. The movement depends on it. You'll have to push it or something. What? Are you out of your damn mind? Push hey, do it. it for your stay. Do it for freedom. Do it for nature. Ignite the fight. You've been igniting the fight too motherfucking <laughs> much, dawg. How do I push this thing? I think that I'm gonna need a tow truck. Can I call Tanya? Nope. Tanya's busy with it. Okay. <laughs> well, this is fun because it's like a little puzzle. We have to work out how to move it. I'm pretty sure it involves a tow truck. Interesting that it's not given me any like hints or anything like that. It just says find a way. There is a big crane there but that's inoperable. The only thing I can think about is a tow truck. Where is the tow, where is the tow truck though? Do I get it from the impound lot? Okay, um... I honestly don't know. It has to be a tow truck. There is no other way. Franklin has been driving with tow trucks from the start of the from the very beginning of the game. Oh, there's a 
I was going to go to the impound lot, but here's a tow truck. <laughs> Here is our tow truck. It's been a long time since I've been in a tow truck. I've been wanting to buy the tow truck business actually, but I'm going to wait until I just get a little bit more money. Beautiful. This will be perfect. Oh geez, it's been a long time since I've been in that tow truck. No, okay, keep going. <laughs> there we go. Nope. <laughs> okay, now watch the cops come on because it's gonna... Oh, you know what? I'm clever. I'll put the marker on before the cops come on, because they will. Okay, where are they? No cops yet. This is too good to be true. No, this is way too good to be true. Okay. Maybe I just did the crappy one first. Because nothing nothing bad is happening, but there's still time. Alright. Maybe everything is gonna be okay. Or maybe I'm just lulled into a false sense of security here because I feel that nothing is going to go wrong. All right. Well, that was delightfully easy for a change. Okay, let's take this in. Get out of the way, please. There's our previous car, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. Raise up. Done. Easy. Mom, I've said all there is to say. <laughs> what? Man, get your ass down here. I'm outside with this junker you made me drag across town. <laughs> Look, just leave it there. I can't come out now. The satellites. I mean, they're scanning our brains and tracking our heartbeats through the internet. Go now while you still can. <sighs> Man, I'm wasting my fucking time. <laughs> no, you're a hero, a green warrior. We're changing lives. Okay. Um, nothing happened. I expected that we would get something at the end there, like a mission or something. Okay. Well, that's fine. Oh, whoops. I forgot about the tow truck being in the way. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can I get through that? I'm I'm determined. I'm determined and lazy. Okay, it doesn't work. It's all good. Well there we go. There you go, Barry. We've done that for you now twice. Easy. That one was so good. That one was so good. So easy. Oh, wow. Okay. We have got something. Where is it? I saw an F on the map. Oh, it's all the way up there. What? Marianne? That's the running lady. Cool. <laughs> That's really cool. I love that. Well, that is brilliant. Good job, Franklin. You have done very, very well. I think what I'd like to do is go to Trevor and we have something else to do before maybe finishing.
What? I don't even want to ask any questions. I don't even know. I don't want to know anything. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know what he was doing. Hey, Michael. Please. I'm trying to forget where I am. <laughs> You're a creepy, paranoid wreck of a man. <laughs> Thanks, Trevor. I was even talking to you, Ron. Even your conspiracy theories suck, amigo. I know, Trevor. I'm awful. Oh, no. <laughs> You're pathetic. I know, Trevor. You need a lot of help. I know. From you. Oh, he's got him so brainwashed. I've met Pond Slime with more personality. Me too, Trevor. Me too. Oh, poor Ron. Ron, you're awful. In every way. In every way, Trevor. Oh, you sad, wretched fool. You're right, Trevor. I'm a <laughs> sad, wretched fool. You're a creepy, paranoid wreck of a man. Thanks, Trevor. <laughs> You really are a sad excuse for a man. The worst excuse, Trevor. That, like, is just so sad and I feel so sorry for him. Look, I think Mrs. Madrazo has honestly made his place so nice. Even his um, statue of impotent rage has been fixed up. She's tidied the place. It hasn't ever looked this clean everything is so tidy and neat everything is so beautiful but where is she i don't know where she is is she in the garage where's mrs Matarazzo? i can't talk to michael i can talk to i can talk to ron Till the cows come home. Where's Mrs. Madrazo? Has she escaped? I'm very concerned that she has escaped. We don't want to lose our lady. <laughs> um, I'm going to take him to oh, the Minutemen? I don't know what that is. Hey, Michael. It's just a big fucking beach. <laughs> big fucking beach. <laughs> It is. Okay, I'm gonna go see these Minutemen. I don't know what the Minutemen are. I did think at some one point that it was Madrazo with the M, but no, it's not. Something else. We're gonna go and check that out. I'm looking forward to the heist, but I am quite nervous as well. It's gonna be fun though. Hey Trevor! You got something to tell me? Oh yeah, our neighbor came looking for you. Elwood O'Neill. I told him you were back in Sandy Shores. Thank you, Wade. Remind me to kick you in the head when I see you next. Remind you? This is one of those jobs I hope I mess up. <laughs> this is Big Dick Daddy. I'm about damn tired of all your ratchet jobs. That's so funny. So what is this? What, what's a minute man? What is that? What is this? Oh. You're never gonna win that little guy. Oh, is this the border patrol people? Oh no, I don't like these guys. This is the border patrol guys. Oh, yuck. Hmm. An American Look at that. Yeah. Him up. Oh, it's you. <laughs> what are you idiots up to, huh? Мы здесь защищаем честь Америки. Это предназначено судьбою. Гордая страна, которая может совершить геноцид и назвать это волею Божией. Fella can't speak two words of English, but he knows this is the best country. Jesus. Hey, hey, what's that? The illegals ruining the place. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's, let's go. Get in. Get in. <sighs> I don't know why. Why are you caught up in this, Trevor? Apprehend the suspect. <laughs> you still got that stun gun? Mm -hmm. Oh, good man. Always prepared. I do. Oh, 
Oh, the depths I'll troll for 500 bucks. <laughs> you two are completely local. Uh -huh. if, you'll forgive my use of Spanish. You do know what that means, right? You spout all this hippie nonsense, but I know you're a patriot, Trevor. Okay, give me a cloak so Whoa. I can incapacitate him humanely. How'd you get your hands on this patrol car? Look, I'm a proud park ranger, my friend. A trained security professional enjoying his time off. Well, and Joseph here, uh, well, I ain't sure what he does for a living. You see, we're men. We don't talk about our sale. Watch it. We don't talk about our sale. We're two like-minded pro-Americans who met online, <laughs> and that's all I need to know. All right, well, let's get this poor guy. <laughs> Body adds, amigo! Come on, where's the stun gun? All right. Hey, Civil Border Patrol, keep your hands where I can see them. This is a citizen's arrest. Not you lunatics again. You're <laughs> again. Gonna kill me. Again. Get in a vehicle now, sir. Again. I love it. Oh, I can't shoot them. Trevor, they'll come out of my wages. <laughs> How am I going to explain oh, bullet no. holes when I show up for work, huh? I wrecked my own car that I have to drive. What Good an work, idiot. Boys. <laughs> now oh, head no. for the C-Man factory. We got <laughs> reports of more illegals working over there. <laughs> Where oh, are no. you taking me? This is a kidnapping. This is time for you to go home <laughs> to Mexico, sir. What are you talking about? This is my home. I have my papers right here. Oh, yeah? Well, let me see that. He'll probably tear him up. Oops. You won't get away with this. I report you. He dropped it out the window. Oh, the you want to report me? <laughs> Are you sure this old man's a threat to American freedom? Sure as I've ever been about anything. Jesus, you're a real fuckwit. I don't like these guys. I think I like them even less than Beverly, and that's saying something because I didn't like him at all. I think I buried this poor man in cement. Uh oh. There, there on the bike. Step on it, Trevor. I only well, have to one the wheel. Guilt if I ever saw one. Probably cartel members oh, or child no. molesters. This is bad. Haven't you got anything better to do? What? That protect our country? No. We're just stepping in where the government has failed. Oh, no. I'm a big supporter of President Lawton, but he's gone soft on the key issues. Everyone's so damn worried about the Hispanic vote these days. <laughs> I voted for Lawton, you freak. Well, you'll say anything, won't you, freak? Where's we'll come going? back for him. Don't let the other one get away. Oh, OK, come OK. Come on, hit the gas. All right, all right. He's gonna, he's gonna escape now. I didn't realize. For the love of God, Trevor, put your foot down. I'm trying to. I shot my tire off before, you idiot. It's not my fault. <laughs> well, I just need to knock him off the quad bike or something. There he is over there. This poor guy, come on. Come on, get a move on. Oh! Well, they did our job. Civil Border Patrol, run and I'll put you down again. You understand me? Okay, okay. Let's go, buddy. You come up with us. Yeah, yeah, underlay, underlay. Come on, move. In the vehicle now. So we go get the other one. Okay. All right, I get it, I get it. I thought I had an irrational hatred for my fellow man, but you two are something else. <laughs> Please, I have a family. Well, that ain't my problem, sir. You've outstayed your generous welcome offer to you by these here United States. What? I have a visa. It's in my passport at my house. Well, you exploited the cracks in the system. Look, I have nothing against you, uh, personally. I'm not saying you can't come here for a vacation. You know, I went to Mexico once. I hated it, but I didn't try to stay there and infiltrate society and subvert the local culture. Uh, I wonder, do you have a lot of success with women? <laughs> Doubtful. All right, where's this other poor fellow? There he is, very injured. 
Are you out of your freaking mind? Ты арестован за преступление против демократии. What? Get in. Go car, go now. Okay. Jesus. Двигай, или я тебя заставлю двигаться. Go, go, fucker, go. Where now? Well, good work, everyone. Thanks for the help, Trevor. Oh. You're a fine patriot. We'll take it from here. Okay. Bunny Just a little. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I told you we'll take it from here. Well, there you go. Have fun. So I just get left here? <laughs> we made Uncle Sam proud today. <laughs> There. Have I wrecked that now, though, actually? Because they can't drive away? Oh, no. I've wrecked it. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> Done. I'm happy with that. I'll put that away, Trevor, please. And on that happy note, I think I may end this video here. That was fun. I ruined their day, so I'm very happy. I don't like them. I like them even less than Beverly. We killed Beverly at the end. Maybe we'll be able to kill these guys too once their little mission thing is over because I would be very quite happy to bump them off for sure. Oh, guys, this episode was so much fun. It was so much fun. I loved the fighting between Trevor and Michael. I thought that was exciting and riveting. And I'm sort of weirdly looking forward to if Trevor finds out about Michael's plans to bump him off, courtesy of Dave, really looking forward to that because things are going to go to the next level they're going to escalate they're going to go crazy and this was exciting for me that whole hipster conversation the arguing in the trailer anything worse it's just going to be game on so looking forward to that really excited all right guys i'm going to finish this one here in the next episode we need to go and finish the heist setup and then actually do the heist of the bank that is going to be so much fun I'm really looking forward to that i think i'm going to go and do that one now so you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you again really soon bye